Hello, teachers. I'm Jing Pei. So, um, talking about uh, the lesson plan project of English grade ten. So, honestly, uh, we have uh, some students uh, have taken responsibility for uh, making the lesson plans, and as we know that there are thirty three units. Yes, and however, we need more teacher to take responsibility to uh, fulfill this. Uh, um remaining unit yeah hopefully you're gonna take a turn to this one so uh, uh the the template lesson plan template that uh you all should uh, uh be able to uh uh be able to do uh you have to uh use this uh lesson plan uh template uh given by our uh, teachers here in a group and also it is given by our uh, trainer as well so we have a lesson plan cover sheet and we have the lesson plan pro uh, procedure sheet, okay? And here, um, uh, you may know already, but what I want to mention is about uh, just my points of view regarding number one and number two here, main aim of the lesson and the subsidi subsidiary aim of the lesson. When we're talking about uh, the main aim is main, uh, the most important, the most important aim of the lesson and the subsidiary aim is just a support, supportive aim of the lesson. So as our new book, we have the, we have the, we have the uh, aims and objective given. So uh, we better use uh, that, uh, yeah. Uh, I wanna sh share you my uh, lesson plan I made here. So um, this is the main aim. I got it from the, uh, the teacher guys. Yes, we, we also have teacher guys. So you can just use it as our, uh, our benefit. Yes, just scan it for our benefit to review uh, family words and practice using simple adjectives to describe people. So this is the main aim of the lesson. And here are the subsidiary aims. So how do I get it? Just take a look at the uh, teacher guy here. This is teacher guide. So uh, actually when you, uh, when you open a teacher the guide in each uh, unit and lesson, you will see the aims here. So I will use the first uh, statement here as the main aim of the lesson. As you can see, uh, the aim is to review and practice asking for and changing uh, benefit inf uh, personal information. This is the main aim. I consider this is the main aim. And the rest here, I consider as the subsidiary aim. So it's easy because we get all the main aim and the subsidiary aim already. We don't need to create uh, the new one. And it is standardized for this, uh, this person, right? So to greet people with hi, hello, hey, what uh, good morning, good afternoon, what, so whatever. And just to inform you that, uh, since this is the new version, the first version, uh, uh, the first version, so there must be something sh that should be revised, right? So to me, uh, I want you to get benefit from this uh, teacher guide, but you don't need to one hundred percent follow all, uh, follow the, follow it, okay? Follow this uh, teacher guide. Uh, for example, uh, the word understand here, the verb understand here. So if you have the experience uh, uh, taking the course of uh, teaching methodology or uh, objective writing, lesson objective writing, you may know that uh, the kinds of work that we should use for writing the objective. So the word understand is kinds of the non-active uh, non uh, verb. So uh, I'm, I'm not, in, uh, I don't encourage you to use kinds of verb as the verb in the optative or aims or optative of the lesson. So better use the other verb, uh, maybe you can explore or the best one is um, should be uh, distinguish. It should be distinguish the difference between teen and T numbers such as 13 and 30 or 14 or 14 and be able to say them clearly. So better use the other action verb. And one more thing, uh, remember that one unit there are two different uh, lesson. Lesson A, as you may see here, and lesson B here. So in lesson A and lesson B, you will see different aims 
and subsidiary aim here. At the moment, we have different uh, another aim here. We have another aim too, to review and practice talking about month, date, and birthdays. So this is the main aim of lesson uh, unit one lesson B. And uh, the subsidiary aim, there are four here. So four different from before. Um, we have uh, no, uh, yeah, no months and use in to talk about month in January. So uh, come here, look, let's take a look at this one. The word no is also kinds of non-action uh, kind of, uh, non verb. So uh, better use another, um, another verb uh, in terms of uh, like uh, identify or determine uh, something like that, right? Yeah. So, or we can say explore uh, the other verb, the other action verb, rather than using the non-action verb like this. So, but we, we can use uh, the rest, just change the verb, just change to the proper verb. Um, yes, of course, uh, honestly, uh, of, uh, we cannot make one lesson for one unit, just my point of view and due to the fact as well, because we are experiencing, uh, teaching the student or conducting classes with the grade 10 student, uh, it's hard to finish uh, one lesson, even one lesson for, for an hour. And as normal, we have 40, 45 minutes for one lesson. So we cannot combine two lessons here in one unit. We cannot combine. So we have to separate uh, this. You know, even, even in one lesson, it can be, separated into two or three, not even one, but uh, yes, we can just do one, but uh, there are a few um, new ticket item within one lesson. You know, one in one lesson, I just forgot the, uh, the unit, maybe unit five. Um, actually, uh, in one lesson, lesson B, it introduces about uh, the demonstrative. It in the, also introduces the uh, possessive, a first of, uh, possessive a first of F, and also the possessive attitude and possessive pronoun. So you can see there are four different uh, target items within a lesson, within a lesson, not a unit, but a lesson. So uh, it can't be uh, combined together uh, for lesson A and lesson B. It must be separated. It can be even separated within the lesson. I mean, one should be separated into two, uh, two different lessons. But now I am not recommending, uh, recommending you to do so. Just one unit, two lesson is enough. Okay, so that's it about uh, the, um, about the uh, lesson plan. So I hope that you will uh, um, contribute the lesson and so that we can just have the lesson plan booklet uh, soon and we can achieve our uh, our, uh, our effort and our achievement. We can make achievement together and for further uses. I hope that you will share with us, you will contribute with us. And thank you so much. If you have any uh, question you can ask or you can just share with us. If you have the idea or you have the achievement regarding this one, you may share with us in the group. Thank you so much.